AI and medical imaging is booming and has the potential to transform radiology as we know it. But for this to happen, we believe that data scientists and radiologists need to collaborate. Radiologists should be able to bring their expertise to the process of AI development. And data scientists should be able to translate radiologist inputs into AI-powered applications. NVIDIA Clara AI makes it easy to get started with AI by providing tools that make data annotation, training, and deployment seamless for medical imaging applications. In this video, we'll show you just how easy it is. We'll walk you through our Clara Train and Clara Deploy SDKs and build a liver segmentation workflow demo. Let's start with the first key element, annotated data. Creating it can be time consuming, but high quality annotated data sets are essential for training AI algorithms. The Clara Train SDK includes APIs to add AI assisted annotation to any medical viewer. You can download the SDK container from NGC, NVIDIA's hub for GPU optimized software. The SDK includes an annotation server, which makes pre-trained models available to the client application, and client APIs hosted on GitHub that communicate with the annotation server and make integration with your viewer application easier. Let's see how AI-assisted annotation can speed up the creation of labeled datasets. These annotation APIs are already integrated into the open source MITK viewer, so let's use that for this demo. Start by loading your unlabeled dataset in MITK and create a new label for segmentation. In this case, we'll choose liver. From the 3D Tools menu, select NVIDIA Segmentation. At this point, the annotation server is running and connected with the MITK client. Choose Segmentation and Annotation Models for Liver from the dropdown and click on Auto Segmentation. This triggers the auto segmentation process by sending the unlabeled data to the annotation server. Starting from an initial auto segmentation result, the user can adjust the proposed extreme points to trigger the annotation model. Now you can correct the annotations with NVIDIA's Smart Poly function in 2D Tools. The models on the server end are continuously learning from interactive user inputs. That's all there is to it. In this case, annotation across all slices was achieved in just seconds. Following the same steps, we annotated 41 datasets. The next step is to create an AI model. You can either train one from scratch or adapt an existing one with techniques like transfer learning. Clara Train SDK can do both. The SDK includes 24 pre-trained AI models and a Python-based library with APIs that make it simple to adapt and train models to new datasets. We'll use the toolkit to apply transfer learning from a pre-trained model with our newly annotated dataset. Start by pulling the Clara Train Docker from NGC. Configure a dataset.json file with the annotated data to be used for model training and validation. Next, we will run the Docker with the data workspace mounted in Docker. Now, it's time to download the pre-trained model for liver segmentation. Along with the model download, you also get a framework to configure and enable your model training environment. We call this MMAR, or the Medical Model Archive. Configure the environment.json file in MMAR with the training dataset. We are ready to execute our training with set parameters. Training is in progress for the AI model, and using TensorBoard, you can monitor as the model adapts to the newly annotated data. Transfer learning is a great way to accelerate the creation of AI models using less time and less training data. In fact, we were able to achieve target accuracy for this model with one-fourth the data and time required as compared to training from scratch. We're now ready to export the model and make it inference ready. And that means it's time to deploy your AI application. The Clara Deploy SDK streamlines this process of integration into your current medical imaging system so that it can seamlessly communicate with your PAX environment. It does so with containers and built-in support for DICOM communication, services that streamline workflow orchestration, pipeline definition language to define custom workflows, and tools that simplify the setup of Kubernetes clusters. Let's see it in action. Start by downloading the Clara Deploy SDK package and run the installation scripts. The next step is to convert the model we just created with Clara Train into an operator app. 
Next, we will assemble a multi-stage pipeline with several operators, including the liver segmentation operator we just created. Our pipeline will include a DICOM read operator that interfaces with a PAX client, a liver segmentation operator that is TensorRT optimized, and a DICOM writer operator that pushes the results back to a PAX server. You can execute the pipeline from the Clara CLI or through Orthink, as shown here. You can monitor the processing of different stages of the pipeline using the Argo dashboard. Now that execution is complete, using any standard medical viewer that can read DICOM, you can visualize the AI inference results. And this is how you can take your AI algorithms into the radiologist's world. That's our quick tour of the Clara AI Toolkit for medical imaging. We looked at the Clara Train SDK, which accelerates the creation of AI algorithms, from annotating data to adapting and training neural networks. We then looked at the Clara Deploy SDK, which lets you streamline your AI algorithms for deployment and testing on hospital infrastructure. All of the Clara AI SDKs are supported for on-prem and in-cloud deployment. And because these SDKs are modular in nature, users can customize some of the features and capabilities or even create new workflows. The NVIDIA Clara AI Toolkit lowers the barriers to AI adoption in medical imaging, and getting started with AI has never been easier. Download the SDKs now to see for yourself. We'd love to hear your feedback.